I am here. My name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris, where you can find all of my hand-painted items at theturquoiseiris.com. I am using a product today called Big Top. It's a awesome water-based top coat from DIY Paint, um, and I'm actually using it instead of on my furniture like normal, I'm applying it to the top of my paintings. This painting is a um, mixed media, nope, not mixed media, um, hi, Annette. Thanks for saying hello, sweetie. Um, not mixed media. Mixed medium, where I've used DIY paint for finger painting, um, exclusively all the florals and such finger painting, and a little bit of acrylic on the back. Um, but I need to get it top coated. This is Wild Love, and um, it's time. So I thought I would use my Paint Pixie brush. It's a synthetic. These are made in Italy, and they are 100% my favorite brushes um, that I promote heavily because I feel like you all need a little paint pixie in your life. Um, so I'm gonna start this and I've got to answer a few questions that have come up in my email and thought you guys on YouTube might have some of the same questions and so if I can answer all of them here, bonus, right? Um, we're all in a day and age where we need to do two things at once. Some of us do three and four things, right? So. Um, if this is your first time on here, I use DIY paint exclusively on my furniture. I also have learned to um, use it when I'm finger painting and I don't feel the threat. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. I don't feel the threat of any toxins because it's 100% you know, natural, it's a clay based. It stays on my fingers and pretty much under my fingernails. I'm not worried. You've been using Big Top on my paintings also. Good, Annette. Yes, girl. That's right. I'm so proud of you. It's so easy to use. I'm actually applying a second coat. I was on Facebook just a moment ago applying the first coat, and I wanted to see um, about a second coat on this one. So the DIY paint is a clay-based, and like I said, I use it on my paintings when I'm finger painting. I don't have to worry about wearing gloves or acrylics and such. Um, my, I am hosting a staging course that the tickets are now available. Um, we are going to start the course on October 4th in a private group on Facebook at the Turquoise, and the, and the Turquoise Iris. Um, just a little sneak peek about what's going to go on in that staging course. It's four weeks. We go live in a secret group. The only reason it's secret is so people don't ask to join and I don't let them in and then they get their feelings hurt because it is a paid course. It's four weeks, but it's one of those where you get to watch it back at your leisure whenever it works for you. You don't have to feel the need to be there live on Thursdays at noon because a lot of you are at work, right? Um, so I have another painting I need to pop up here. You look like Dr. Phil's wife. Um, I don't know what she looks like, so we're gonna go with that as being a compliment Right? I'm assuming. Thank you, though. It, I, think I, I think maybe I've seen her, but it's been a few years. Um, so if you're just now popping on here, this is a product called Big Top. It's a, a okay, thank you. Uh, it's a water-based top coat, and it's my favorite. Other than wax, this is what I use when I'm using anything that needs a top coat. And now I have added it to my artwork, and it becomes... So easy to apply. This is DIY's, um, one of their top coat products. They have several others, but I'm applying it to my paintings. This is one that I did with IOD stamp, uh, no, transfers. This is the on here, and then I have overcoated it with my finger painting florals that I've done with DIY. Caught you live on YouTube, Miss Posey. <coughs> Um, so yeah, we're brushing that on here, getting a second coat, talking about my staging course coming up. I received an email last night that made me realize I needed to answer a few more questions. So the question was, I'm sorry I can't sign up for your staging course because I'm at work on Thursdays at noon. Yes, I am aware. I have to do it when I can work. That's, those are my working hours. But the videos can be played back at your leisure. And once the four week course is over, I'm emailing you all the videos for your safekeeping and you can watch as many times as you want. Go back. Um, I know, very uncommon, Annette. And um, so, yes, those 
the way I answered her question was, this is just a group where we're gonna go live and that's when the live training will be. But don't worry, um, don't you worry. You're gonna be able to watch the playback and um, as many times as you'd like Yes, it's gonna help you decorate your home. The staging course is not just for furniture painters, okay guys? The tickets are available right now, and um, it's a four week course, so every Thursday in October, we will go live for an hour and a half. We have different things scheduled. I'll give you, but you do have to have a Facebook account because we go live in a private group on Facebook. Um, but just a few of the things that I'm gonna tease you with is I'm gonna talk to you about why we're talking about makeup compacts why we're talking about color combos, um, what you need to look for in staging your own home. But if you are like me and you sell furniture online, this class is also for you. We're gonna talk about lighting, we're gonna talk about colors, and why on earth I'm gonna send you to Walgreens to buy a makeup pack compact. Right? Yep. Um, thank you for the hearts and the th four thumbs up. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, the other thing, the very first week in our staging course, I'm going to give you a quiz, um, and we're going to help identify your personal style. Now, if you're like me, you appreciate all different styles of decor and interiors. I can appreciate it, but living with it is a totally different thing. So, I love color. This is a painting that I did using the Iron Orchid transfers, and then I finger painted florals over it. Okay, so I love this, and I love color. However, I look around and I really don't have that many pieces of painted furniture in my house. I have one in each room. I feel like that's enough. I don't have many, um, I don't have many pieces of, co of painted furniture. I love the painting that is, oh, thank you so much. Um, both of these paintings are available on my website. I just needed to get the top coats on them. Um, so, the staging course is a month, it's four weeks, so it's six hours total. It's 137. Um, for those of you that are in my Creative Connection, if you happen to pop on here, you know how to contact me because you get it for half off um, and you get the special code for that. But we're gonna do a quiz. And I personally did the quiz and it told me I was right in the middle of 80s glam and rustic. Now those two things are way on extremes, but I got to put it, put it, I got to putting it together and thought, Lo and behold, that means rustic with color. And if you've seen my work before on the turquoiseiris.com, you will see that my furniture is heavily distressed usually, but I use color. It's not white, it's not chippy, I don't do white. Um, if you see anything of mine that's white, you're gonna see a lot of color on it. So while these are drying, uh, both of my paintings right here, I've applied two coats of DIY paints, big top, top coat, okay? Um, so I've gotta let them dry before I can, um, get them back inside and take better photographs of them. But just a little sneak peek of the quiz that I'm gonna ask you. So we're gonna first identify our personal style that we lean more towards, right? Because I am not 80s glam, nor am I rustic. But I'm right there in the middle and it was a really good anal analyze, analyze, uh, anal you know what I'm talking about. All right, so for example, the plant most likely to grow in your living room, most likely to grow in your living room is this. A, a tall potted cactus that looks plucked off a ranch. Yeah, just pick the answer that best describes you. A sprawling jungle-like fiddle leaf fig. Yeah, hi Tammy. A resilient feathery Boston fern. Gotta love a good Boston fern, right? Who has time to water plants? Is that you? Is that you? A neon green trailing ivy plant. I do have some of that. A classic spiral shaped cedar topiary. Topiary, topiary, topiary. Excuse me, I am having struggle. I am struggling. Um. So, you pick the best answer. You do that 20 different times. We find results, so that's the first week. That's not all we're gonna be doing. That's just the first thing we're gonna do to kick it off. Um, but that's just also a little sneak peek of what's gonna be going on. I do have my Creative Connection. I'm, it's a membership coaching group. Um, we have a lot of fun. We really connect and it helps you find your tribe of people, especially if you're in the creative business like myself. Um, 
Whew, I spent years in this garage alone painting, and then now all of a sudden I have friends. I have connect, people I can connect with, people I can ask questions to. Um, it's been crucial in um, developing my tribe. Uh, and that is open on October 1st. We'll be open two days, but again, you can go to the turquoiseiris.com if you have any questions. These are still drying. I always have to lay them up at the light and let it make sure I didn't skip anything. But this is a water-based. Today it's pouring rain, so it's taking a little bit longer to dry. But it was a simple application where I brushed it on with my synthetic paint pixie. I do have a link if anybody's interested in trying out this brush. Um, they're made in Italy. This is a synthetic, but we also have um, the ones that are mixed with synthetic and handmade. Um, I love the Creative Connection Group. I love my painting tribe sisters, Annette, and we love you, sister. So you guys, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for joining me. This was just a little um, peek where I could teach you something while I actually got a little work done. So y'all take care and have an awesome day. Until next time.